Hi everybody, my name is Julia and today I'm going to be showing you how to make diabetic friendly grilled beef chimichangas. For the ingredients for this recipe, you are going to need one pound of lean ground beef, preferably approximately 90% lean, one small chopped onion, one can of chopped green chilies, a fourth a cup of salsa, three quarters a cup of Monterey Jack cheese, two garlic cloves that are minced, a fourth a teaspoon of ground cumin, and six whole grain tortillas, and optional is um, light and low fat sour cream. For the first step, we're going to cook our beef. So we want to cook our beef in a large skillet just about this size, somewhere around there for six to eight minutes until the beef is not pink anymore. We're going to combine our beef with our onions and garlic at the same time. I'm going to be cooking my beef at medium heat and I did oil the pan just a little bit before I throw on the beef. I've put together in my pan onions, garlic, and the beef. I'm just separating the beef a little bit just so it could be in little bits and pieces. Um, as it cooks, obviously it'll separate more, um, but just make sure to make sure your beef is separated. So the beef is now done with the onions and garlic. I am going to bring it over here real quick and just strain it. Um, just to get any juices or anything out. Okay. Stop. No, you're okay. Okay. Just get all the juices out and everything. Okay. Now I'm going to throw it back in here and then I'm going to combine it with the cumin, salsa, and then the green chilies. So all of this. And then I'm just gonna mix it together and let it get warm. So now with our finished beef um, and veggies, we're going to take a half a cup of the mixture and add it to the tortilla. Just get it in the middle a little bit. Um, and then now you can add the optional guacamole and sour cream. I'm just going to add a little bit of sour cream, just like that. And then we can add two tablespoons of cheese, however much. If you want one or two, I'm just going to add one because I'm just eating this. And then we're going to fold it up. This part's a little challenging, so however might be easiest to you. Usually I try to go like this and fold like this. Just like that. I'm just going to brown my chimichanga a little bit on my pan because I don't have an accessible grill right now. So I'm just warming it on about six heat. I just did a little bit of pan spray um, and now I'm just going to let it sit here for five to ten minutes and flip it um, at about halfway. So this is the finished product of the grilled beef chimichangas. I did end up cooking each side of the chimichangas for about two to three minutes and I just topped it with cilantro. Obviously just did the lettuce for presentation and included a side of sour cream. One thing that I do want to add about this recipe is the stuff that I am preparing this recipe with. Um, doesn't have to be what you prepare it with. So for example, for the meat, if you don't want beef, you can include something like pulled pork, chicken, beans, cauliflower, fish. Um, I'll include a list of substitutions below. Um, another thing too, if you don't want to include the whole grain tortillas, you could do something like a salad, um, lettuce, something like that. I even put mine on lettuce as well. Um, Again, like I said, it's completely up to you. As I said, I only put one tablespoon of cheese in um, my meal. You don't have to include any cheese at all. Um, so the recipe is definitely modifiable to whatever you would like. So the recipe today cost me 18.25. dollars 
Um, I'll post a different picture about it. I did go to Safeway. I'm um, out in a different state other than Wisconsin right now, um, out west. But it would be equivalent to something such as um, Woodman's um, or even Jewel. Um, the only thing that I did have today was the salsa. Um, I did purchase that from Trader Joe's, so that would be a couple of dollars. Um, but other than that, I'm going to try the finished product for you and tell you how it is. I love sour cream, like I said. I'm gonna need a napkin. That is really good. I didn't know how the spice would be with it because I love my spices. Very, very good. I definitely get it again. Thank you again for watching.